I'm going to show you six different ways how you can wear your Van Cleef and Appel's fine motif bracelet as a necklace by using my fine motif gilche bracelet. They're super easy to do at home. Everything will be linked down below in the description box down below for you. And in the end, I'll tell you my favorite way and leave me a comment down below to let me know which one is your favorite way. Let's get right into the video. So the first way, I call it a choker way. So I'm using a sweet Ahambra bracelet on the other side. Basically Basically, all you need to do is you use the claps, the hook, to hook on the loop side of the fine motif bracelet on this side, and you have one side connected, right? And then the other side is you can just wear your bracelet this way. You basically use the hook on the fine motif bracelet to hook on the sweet Ahambara bracelet, and two ends connected. And this is the choker way. If you don't have a sweet Ahambra bracelet, that's totally fine. What you can do is you can find any trace chain. Any trace chain will work too. And this one that I'm using here is a 14K solid gold trace chain. What I like about this trace chain is that it has three hook position that where I can adjust the length of the trace chain and it's really affordable too. And I'll leave the trace chain down below for you if you're interested in getting this one. You basically wanted to put the chain together and then fold them in half and then you want to use the lobster clasp, basically the hook side to hook on the loop of the fine motif bracelet and then you one side connect to here and the, the other side you want to use the fine motif bracelet hook to connect to the other side of the bracelet basically like this so then there you go you have the choker style connected so the second way i'm gonna wear this trace chain first and i'm just gonna wear it as a necklace and uh, hook this trace chain on the neck here so I'm wearing this one as a necklace. Use the hook side of the fine motif bracelet and then hook it on to where that my necklace is and hook them together. And that's basically the long necklace but dangling way. If you wear this as a necklace for your sweater or something, it looks really nice too. That's basically how the second way looks like. So the next way, because I can adjust the length of my necklace, so I'm going to put the necklace in a shorter length right now. I'm going to use the hook on the necklace to hook on the loop in the fine motif bracelet. And I have one end connected like this. And then I'm going to put it on right now and then i'm just going to use the hook on the fine motif bracelet to hook on my necklace so the difference compared to the previous way is that it's not a choker but it's more like a longer length of the necklace it's not so high up and if you think it's too tight then this way might be slightly better and it totally looks like a tan motif necklace here this is why i like this trace chain because i feel like this chain has different length can create a, so many different looks so the next way how you can wear it is that you don't put the bracelet or necklace on yet you just dangling down like this you use the hook side of the fine motif bracelet to hook on one of the side hook and you can do in the end of the necklace but i'm gonna pick the highest so that to make the chain a little bit shorter and then on the other side i'm gonna use the hook on the necklace to clip on the chain on the fine motif bracelet. Honestly, you can do any length and I'm doing it clip on the two motif flower here. And then you can also do longer. You can do the third flower or even a lower position. And I like how this position looks like. From afar, it looks like a asymmetrical necklace. The 
next way, what you can do is you open up the entire trace chain to make it a long link. And what you do is you basically use the hook on the necklace to hook on the loop in the fine motif bracelet. You make sure that connect them together. The other side, you want to use the, the hook on the fine motif bracelet to connect it to the loop on the necklace. And then you can use, since mine have different length, I'm just gonna hook it on to uh, this one here and basically connect them directly together. And now you have a really long necklace. So it's really good that like winter time you wear a sweater and this will be a long necklace. It looks really nice too. The next way you will need to find a necklace with a pendant, ideally VCA's necklace because it will be another flower dangling. But since I don't have one, I'm just showing you how to do it using my Hermes Venus pendant. But if you have a Van Cleef necklace that shows a motif like a flower dangling, this will be a great way to put them together. You put one side of the necklace, the hook, hook onto the loop on the fine motif bracelet. And then you wear this fine motif bracelet here. And then so easier for you to see and put it on. And basically imagine if this is the VCA necklace, you will have a flower dangling here, right? So all you do is basically just hook the hook on the fine motif bracelet and uh, wear it with hook it on to the necklace for the Venus necklace here. I know it looks different, but if this is a flower dangling here, you will be able to have six motifs and then you can adjust it here on the side or you can wear asymmetrical look and it will move around like this and it will be better than my Hermes Venus necklace. It's different, but you get an idea that if it's a flower dangling, it's another way that you can wear it as a necklace. Something like this, and then you can adjust the position to make the flower look as you want. And it doesn't have to be the same Van Cleef necklace and it could be in different stones or different style as long as they could kind of go together it'll work too. This inspired me to get another Van Cleef necklace to wear with my fine motif bracelet together. So my favorite way is the choker way. It's really tight and the, the mid position, the mid length and like a 10 motif necklace way. These two are my favorite. They are traditional, but I feel they're so classic and so stunning. So which one is your favorite way? Do you think this is helpful? Leave me a comment down below to let me know and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.